In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pilot Vanishing Point Matte Black Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point in matte black. It's called the Vanishing Point because the nib retracts into the body with a click. Now, there are a number of other retractable fountain pens on the market. Mont Blanc makes one, Lamy makes one, and Platinum now makes one, which is kind of more similar to the Vanishing Point. But in my opinion, this is really the best one and the, the one to have. And the reason for that is just the click mechanism, super easy, and the pen is just really nicely made. Everything about it works perfectly. The performance, in my experience, having had three of these, or, or let me see, yeah, I've had three of them and I've actually never sold any of them. I kept all of them because I like them so much. <laughs> Pilot have been making these retractable nib fountain pens since the 1960s, and they've been making them, I believe, continuously since they were launched. Uh, they launched a pen called the Capless, which I believe these vanishing points may be called the Capless in Japan. And when it comes to the retractable nib fountain pen, I really think Pilot is the ultimate. Now, the matte black version of this pen has a matte black metal body. Everything on here is metal. The only shiny bits are these two rings right here. On the back we have Pilot in Japan and we have a very long clip up here. Now the clip kind of dictates how you hold the pen. I personally find this pen very comfortable. It doesn't get in my way and I think it works for most people as well. Now if you have an unusual grip this pen may be a problem for you. The clip does kind of taper right here so you know, if you really like to hold your pen tightly, they kind of put a little groove in there for you. It's a kind of a strange looking pen. To see more of the, the details here, this is a brown lacquer version. And you can just see kind of more of the, the details here with the, I don't even know what you call this on this pen. I guess this is top of the body. I don't know, it's not a cap, it's a capless pen. Um, I don't know, the metal part where the, the clip attaches to. You can just see more of the, the design of the pen. And I personally find that the matte black version makes a lot of more of the details more subtle, whereas I think this pen, even though I like this pen, I like the lacquer on it. It's a pretty ugly pen. I think most people would agree with that. Whereas this pulls it off better. It hides more of the lines by being all matte black. The way that the pen works is there's a little door here. So when I push on this click, that little door comes down and the nib comes out. So when the pen is clicked, it's completely sealed. I've never had any issue with the pen drying out or hard starting. This pen, uh, these pens really seal that nib. So it's really not an issue, nothing to worry about there. On the back, let's open it up. So we pull out the sort of nib assembly here, and we have this metal tube, and then we have the converter here. This is the Con 50 converter. I believe Pilot has discontinued this converter. They now use one called the Con 40, and I actually think that replaces the Con 20. So I can't really say which one's functionally better. I don't know if one holds more ink than the other, but anyway, they eliminated the Con 50 and the Con 20 when they came out with the Con 40. So. And then at the, the top of the line is the Con 70, which is a push button filler that holds a lot of ink. Anyway, that's very boring. Um, but here's the nib. It is a very, it's a long nib and it's quite skinny. So you're not really getting, not exactly a lot of gold here. But this is the black nib that comes with the matte black version. Now I do have a couple of other nibs. In the United States, they only are sold in the 18 karat gold version. In Japan, you can get the vanishing point with a steel nib. Three different nibs. Starting here, we have the fine nib from the matte black vanishing point. 
And then here I have a broad nib that Richard Binder made into what he calls a italifine, which is an italic nib on the bottom and then you turn it over and you have a fine nib. So he kind of modified the point to give you a italic and fine nib in one. And this is here is a medium in the yellow gold and this is a Pendler brown butterline stub. I think I'm saying that right. So these nibs are extremely easy to change out and I think this is probably the easiest pen to change nibs out in. When you're unscrewing a threaded nib section like you have on a Pelican or an Aurora, there is more of a chance for damage, whereas with these, changing these out, you really have, there's nothing really to break. You're not going to break any threading. You're not going to mess up the alignment of the nib with the feed. It's just not really a thing. Now, we'll use one of these nibs as an example. So when you use a cartridge with this pen, you need this cap. So you put the cartridge in here and then you can stick the cap over it. And that just prevents the button, essentially, because it is a pretty strong spring, it prevents it from crushing the cartridge and making a mess all over the place. So you do need to use this cartridge shield, I'll call it, and it is a proprietary cartridge converter system. One other thing that I should point out here real quick, there's a little notch here which fits into this kind of gap in the threading. That ensures that the nib is properly in the right place. Let's start with the weight. Okay, so we're at 31.73 grams. So definitely a weightier pen. It's not crazy heavy, but it's not a light pen. This is a metal pen for sure. Now, normally at this point I would uncap the pen, but the pen is capless, so this is it. Now, as a comparison, this is a Namiki vanishing point, which is one of the older versions of the, the Pilot vanishing point. Nib and everything is interchangeable. And this is a plastic bodied pen. So if you find this to the metal version to be too heavy, this one is essentially half the weight of this pen. So if you find that the current vanishing point is too heavy, it may make sense to try to find one of these Namiki ones. In terms of the length here, we're at about 138 to 139 millimeters. And then, you know, with it retracted, we're at about 140, 141 millimeters. I find that the weight, it, you know, there's a good balance. You're not, you don't have anything huge sticking off the, the end here because it's a capless pen. In terms of the width, I'm not counting the clip here because you don't really grip the clip. So 10.8, then as it goes up, you know, 11.9 there, and where's the widest point? 12.8. So this is a pretty average width pen. It's a very comfortable width. It's not fat. It's not really skinny. So let's do the writing sample. So writing sample. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point, and this is That was a mean, not the, not the nib. I mean, there's not really a lot to say about the writing experience. It just, it's super reliable. It's a pretty smooth nib. I don't really get any tooth, but it's quite a, it is a fine nib. So it's not, you know, crazy smooth. In terms of flexibility, not too much. Wouldn't really bother trying to flex this nib. Reverse writing, oops. Uh, seems like not really. With a nib this fine, I don't really know if you need to go too crazy with that. But yeah, that is the writing sample with the fine nib, the standard fine nib, and it is a really nice, reliable writer. I don't really have anything bad to say about this. So what are my pros and cons for the matte black Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen? The biggest pro is that convenience. You get all of that fountain pen writing pleasure with a pen that you can click. This is so awesome. It just makes using a fountain pen 
so effortless. It's perfect for the office, perfect for taking notes in class. This is the most convenient fountain pen you can buy. I also think that the 18 karat gold nibs are really good, and for about $150 for an 18 karat gold nib pen, that's a pretty good price. I also really like the matte black body. It kind of masks some of the less attractive details of this pen. By comparison, you know, this is the more normal looking one, which has shiny metal trims, and this is a pretty ugly pen, to be honest. But the matte black one kind of covers up some of those details or makes them less obvious, and I think this actually looks pretty good. I also like that the nibs are very easy to change out, and you can buy separate nib units. I have two custom nibs for this pen and swapping them out is as easy as it gets. It's easier than any of the threaded nib units and definitely easier than a friction fit nib unit. In terms of cons, it's a metal pen so it could be heavier on the heavier side for some people. And then the other one that you have to be careful about is the clip. You hold the pen where the clip is. So if you have an unusual grip, this pen may not work for you. It may be uncomfortable. So that is definitely a consideration. This pen will certainly not work for everybody. The other thing is that it takes a decent amount of force to click this. And I know I have on multiple occasions picked up the pen off the desk with the nib extended and tried to click the pen. And I know from reading posts on forums and on Reddit, other people have had that problem too. So you can, if you're not careful and if you're not paying attention, you can accidentally stab yourself with this. Uh, so just be careful with it. So those are my main pros and cons for the Pilot Vanishing Point. I really do think this is the most convenient fountain pen you can buy and it's a really really good fountain pen so i highly recommend these so that is the pilot vanishing point in matte black do you guys have this pen do you like this pen let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos please hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much and until next time